Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see about developing a simple bank management system project in Python. These are the prerequisites. First, you need MySQL server for this project. If you have MySQL server, you can skip the first step. Else, you have to download and install exam server from this website. Then, you have to start exam server, start Apache module and MySQL module. Both should be in the running state. And then you have to open localhost PHP MyAdmin in your browser. When you open this, so these are the databases which I have in MySQL server. Next, we need to install MySQL connector using this statement from your command prompt. The statement is pip install MySQL hyphen connector hyphen Python. After completing these prerequisites, let's start writing the code. First, we need to create a connection then a database and two tables are required for this bank management system. One is the bank account table and another is the transaction. These things should be done first. So let's start writing the code. So here we have this bank manage.py. These lines are used for connecting with MySQL. First you need to import mysql.connector then set up the connection. This is the method for creating the connection mysql.connector.connect. You have to mention the host, the username and password and if you have changed the default port you have to give it explicitly the port number which i am using is 3307 and then i have used one more thing called auto commit is equal to true python turns auto commit off by default so if you want to turn it on you can do that when you are connecting to the database we need not call commit method after executing the query okay then we are creating the cursor object using this cursor method using this cursor you can execute the statements to communicate with mysql database you can pass the query as an argument of executes so initially we are creating the database bank db will be created and then we are using this bank db inside this database we are going to create two tables i'm using condition if not exist so the table will be created only once the first time when you are running this code it will be created so the fields used in this bank account are account number it is an integer data type and it is set as a primary key auto increment. It will start from 1 and it will get incremented whenever a new account is created. And then the name, city, mobile number and balance is also set. And another table called a transaction. Here the account number is the foreign key and amount to be transacted is given. Then transaction type is represented as a single character deposit or withdrawal. And the foreign key of this table will refer to the primary key of this bank account table. So that's it with the connection. We can just execute the code now. Okay. Now let's check our localhost PHP MyAdmin. We have got bank DP now. You can just see the structure of the bank database. It contains two tables, bank account and transaction. So this is the structure of bank account table can check the structure of transaction table account number which is a foreign key amount and transaction type is given now it's time to do the transactions so you are going to create a menu with the following options first create an account then we can uh, give the user the option to deposit or withdraw the amount and you can also view the account details and finally a user can come out of this program so let's do that part here I have used a print statement welcome to Trinity Bank and then while true loop this will be running infinitely unless the user chooses to come out of the loop. So I have given five options user can enter any choice out of it. If the user has chosen choice one then we are getting this input from the user name city mobile number and balance is set to zero. I am assuming that the user is starting the account with a zero balance. Next we need to insert these values name city mobile number and balance to the table bank account so i'm not going to insert account number since it is set as auto increment so starting from one it will be auto incremented whenever a new account is created so only for the other fields name city mobile number and balance i am entering four values so the values are given in this tuple name city mobile number and balance and i am executing the query by giving the corresponding values after executing and just selecting everything from the bank account where the name is the user entered name so i have given a message that account is successfully created and i am printing all the details of that particular account 
account number, the name, city, mobile number and the balance is printed. And the next option is deposit money. The choice is 2. So we have to provide the account number and the deposit amount getting these two values from the user and the transaction type is fixed as D depositing the amount. We are just going to insert this uh, account number the transaction type and the deposit amount into the transaction table. So I am using insert into transaction values account number deposit amount and transaction type and then after that we also need to update the bank account table that is we need to add this deposit amount with the balance. So I am using update bank account set balance equal to balance plus the deposit amount where the account number is the account number entered by the user. And finally we have a print statement stating that this amount has been deposited successfully in that account number. So that is for choice 2. And choice 3 is withdrawing money in vacating the account number and amount to be withdrawn from the user. Now we have a condition to be checked when you want to withdraw the money. The withdrawal amount must be less than the available balance in the account. So I have a select query. I am just getting the balance from the bank account table where account number is equal to the given account number. And I am executing the query. Then I am using this fetch1 method of cursor. This will fetch the row in the result of this query and it will return it as a tuple. So this balance amount will be returned as a tuple. Instead of tuple, if you want it as an integer, you should use this index 0. That is tuple of 0 will return the first element, right? So balance will contain that value in integer. Now we can check if the withdrawal amount is less than balance. Then you can perform transaction. We are setting transaction type as W and we are inserting these details into the transaction table. And also we are updating the bank account table by subtracting this withdrawal amount from the balance. And finally I have a print statement stating that this amount has been withdrawn successfully from that particular account number. If not, if withdrawal amount is greater than the balance, you have a print statement stating that we can't withdraw money due to insufficient balance. And finally, for choice 4, we should display the account details that is retrieve the account number from the user. Select all the fields of bank account table where account number is equal to the account number entered by the user. Then using a for loop in my cursor, we can just print all the fields of the particular account number. Else, if you press any other number, it can just come out of the loop. That's it. Now, let's execute the code. So, we got the message, Welcome to Trinity Bank. Right now, there is no account created. So, let me first create an account with a name, city name, a mobile number. So, account is successfully created. The account number, name of the account holder, city, phone number and the balance. Now let's deposit some amount to this account. Account number is 1. Depositing 25,000 here. So this amount has been deposited successfully in account number 1. Now I want to create one more account. Name. Okay. A second account is created with account number 2. Then deposit some amount to it. Enter choice to account number 2. And I give this amount here. Okay. Now if you want to withdraw 5000 from account number 2. So choice 3 and account number 2 and I am just giving 5000. So 5000 has been withdrawn successfully from account number 2. So if you check account number 2 it contains 7000 now. Now let me try to withdraw some amount from account number 1. So account number 1 already had 25000. I am trying to withdraw 30000 now. Okay. So we got the message since it is greater than the balance can't withdraw money insufficient balance. Check account number 1 we have not yet withdrawn anything. So when you press 5 you can just come out of this program and you can see the transaction and the bank account details in your database. So bank account contains 2 rows and transaction contains 3 entries. We have deposited in uh, account number 1 and 2 and trial has been done only once with account number 2. Okay. So that's it about the simple bank management project using Python. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.